illegally cross, requiring them to wait five years before trying to cross the border again. More details on the lawsuit are over on BorderReport.com. Well, back here in your community, if you're a puppy parent, then you'll love this one. Danielle's got our invite to one event that'll help us appreciate our pets even more. Oh, yeah, and I hear you have two fur babies at I home. I do, Ellie and Rudy. Oh, yeah. so cute. Well, yeah. I have one too, uh, Laika, and I know Jessica does too. So, yeah. guys, this is an event for us as well as all other puppy parents mm -hmm. in the Valley. This is your Paint Your Pet event, and it's our chance to get creative and colorful on a blank canvas, all for the sake of capturing a perfect memory of our beloved four-legged family members. Now, you can take a photo of your pet to the location, and then instructors there are going to help you create a masterpiece artwork of him or her. <laughs> it's going to be so fun, and they can be a solo photo of your furry friend or maybe one of you two together or one of them with the whole family. I mean, whatever the case, a specially designed painting can be made by you. Uh, it's the perfect way to cherish those memories for ever <laughs> at the event. You're going to be able also to pre-sketch your image onto a stencil and then get the painting the entire uh, thing onto a blank canvas. And you don't even have to be a pro painter or anything like that if you want to participate. You can just have your passion for your pup and then get to work. And all the material is going to be included on site, which is so great. So you don't even have to worry about that either. And it'll be, again, a unique way to just try out a new hobby in case you've never tried painting before. And painting can really honestly be a great source of joy with a emotional and physical benefits. See, according to artandbonding.com, it can help us enhance our emotional creativity, improve our communication skills, uh, memory also, and can even help us work out our problem solving muscles in the brain. It can also help us to boost our self-esteem because it's a great outlet for, you know, releasing stress, anger, sadness, joy, and so many other feelings. Uh, anyone is welcome to join in on the fun and the product that you end up with can be a great gift or maybe a beautiful personal and sentimental piece for you to keep at home home for yourself. Now it is all happening on August the 29th, so I'm giving you plenty of time to put it on your calendar right now. And you can check out the website on your screen for all the details that you're going to need to know what to attend. It should be a bright, colorful and paw thick time for <laughs> sure. Again, guys, I know all three of us are puppy parents, so I think we should all like go together. I'm going. <laughs> I, I just saw it's Thursday at the end of the month. 2 to 8 p.m. We could literally do this. We yeah. can. Yeah, yeah. Our schedules allow. We're going. Yeah, yes. we are. I, I it's decided. Go. I was so excited because I, I am going to be here again on Saturday forecasting, and so I was really hoping it wasn't this weekend, and I got my wish. So yeah, I'll you were be starting there. to feel a little sick already, right? Yes. <laughs> Painting a picture of my dog. My dog's name is Butter, um, and and I can never have too many pictures of him. Yeah. So. Have you painted before? Yes, I've painted not a picture of butter though, okay. and, and I'm super glad that there's going to be a guide there to kind of help you yes. stencil it out and go through it. Because sometimes it's a little bit daunting to start mm. with that blank canvas and disappointing when you're not a professional and things don't turn out the way that you want. <laughs> so I feel like with the help there, it'll give us the confidence and all those who go the yeah. confidence to try something new. Yeah, yeah. especially you, Adam, because you have two pups. We I only do. have one. I know. You're going to have to do double the painting. a little bit more difficult for me. <laughs> what about you? Have you done one of these painting things with a guide? No. no. I mean, I have plenty of photos at home. You should see my camera roll. It's yeah. all my puppy. Yeah. That's, That's it. How mine is too. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could all go and just help each other out. And again, yeah. I'm sorry, Adam, you have double the work. <laughs> yeah, I've but done one of those you. where they instruct you on how to paint. Okay. How to go? I did decent. Okay. I did all right. Do you have it hanging up in your apartment? I don't. Like, do I actually have everyone? it in the closet right now. I need to get it out <laughs> and hang it up somewhere. It it's not bad. It's not bad. I was pretty proud of then it. Why is it in the closet? Uh, it just haven't found a right spot for it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you are a man of many talents. I knew it. We'll give this one a shot. Yeah. We'll all go. We'll do a whole team team. I like together. it. And I'm so we'll excited. Food yeah. After. Yeah. Great, <laughs> yeah. great event. For sure. <laughs> and All it right. is indoors, right? So oh, yeah. the weather doesn't have to be good. <laughs> Even though it's probably going to be hot. The paint's going to be melting off. For today, though, going to be hot again. Temperatures around 100 degrees. We have a very slight chance for some showers this afternoon, but most of us are going to stay dry. That's why you see here it just says partly cloudy skies. So I do think we could have some increased cloud cover. For the next few days, similar situation. Check it out on Tuesday. I actually think we might have a little bit better shot to see some of these showers and storms. So we're definitely going to take a look at that as well as the rest of the week being nice.